Teresa Woodard is live at Love Field with a look at how all of this is impacting flights in Dallas. Yeah, Chris, our local airlines, Southwest and American, have canceled a combined 830 flights for tomorrow alone. All of the flights in and out of Tampa and Orlando are canceled all the way through Thursday night. Now, this is a story about a major hurricane, but one family's story begins with a major winter storm. We lived in North Texas in Grand Prairie for 17 years. The worst of those 17 years was last year. And then it got serious when the power didn't come back on every couple of hours. Melissa Bartell's 2021 was like a lot of Texans 2021. Very cold, 54 degrees and dropping inside her Grand Prairie home and very wet. The bottom half of our house was flooding. Pipes burst, causing $35,000 in damage. During the months long renovation, Melissa left the state to visit her mom. And I fell in love with this peninsula. In 2022, they moved, trading Texas's extremes. I'm getting an emergency alert. For Florida's. It's probably just telling us that we have an evacuation and we have to be out by tomorrow at noon, I think. But the Bartels won't evacuate. They're north of Tampa and don't expect a major hit. They trust their home, new to them but 45 years old, will be fine. Neighbors tell them it's survived worse. Even though I haven't met some of these people, they're like, hey, we have a generator. So if you run out of power and you need to cook, just come over. Do you feel like this this will be easier to endure than, than that awful winter storm? Um, I do. First of all, it's not sub-zero. And that makes a huge difference. Melissa told me they do not regret their move. They live in Hudson, Florida. Her mother is about 15 minutes or so away. So if things get really bad where they are, she's not under a mandatory evacuation, so they will go there. One final note about air travel, both American and Southwest are telling passengers if they are affected by this, they will work with them to reschedule flights and try to prevent them from having to pay any hefty fees to reschedule.